Hey, this is Andy Mandel with the Mandel team at Remax, and today we're gonna to talk about how to price your home in 2019. So, when we go to look at homes to, uh, and try to give a seller a price, what we as real estate agents do is we look at all the comparable sales to make sure we're comparing apples to apples. So if you have a home in neighborhood X, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look in neighborhood X for homes that are just like yours. Very similar square footage, give or take 10 to 15% on the square footage. We're gonna go back only three to six months because that's really what an appraiser is gonna look at. You can't go back two years, something like that for that one crazy sale. You gotta stick within the last three to six months. Um, so if you have a four bedroom, two bath, we're gonna first look for four bedroom, two baths to make sure we're comparing apples to apples. Um, and we're gonna look at closed sales. So closed sales is what the market has said, hey, this is what a buyer is willing to pay. That's what the appraiser is gonna look at when they go to appraise your property. So while your neighbor could be for sale for $17 million, you wanna make sure you're pricing it at where the closed sales say your home is worth. So that's step one. Next, we're gonna look at the pending sales. That's a key indicator of where the market is headed. So if all the homes in your neighborhood are selling at 400,000 and there's a bunch of pending sales at 410, 415, we know that that was a price that caused buyers to write offers and it could be an indicator that the market is trending slightly up. So we wanna look at the pending sales to see where the future of your neighborhood is going. Then we're gonna look at the active sales in your neighborhood. That's your direct competition right now. So when buyers are coming into your house, there's a very good chance they're also looking at all the other active sales comparable to yours in your neighborhood. My, I recommend pricing yourself at the lower end of the active sales as long as they are in line with what has closed and that's gonna make you the, the most appealing active home on the market and make sure you're the next property to sell and most likely with multiple offers because you're gonna see all the buyers in your neighborhood immediately recognize that you're the best value in the neighborhood right now. So that's how you price your home. You wanna make sure you're doing this strategically and you have all the information you can possibly have including off-market deals that you know a lot of times don't show up on the Zillows and the websites like that. So you wanna make sure you're looking at all the data and that's what we do here at the Mandel team. So if you're thinking about selling your home, give us a call, shoot us a text, let us know. We'd love to show you what we do differently to make sure you get the results that you expect and you deserve.